I don't have a time machine to solve my problems, so basically I drink beer. What's up everybody, back today with another review for you. It's gonna be for the newest film, Project Almanac from MTV Films. It's a found footage time travel film where this teenager kid basically invents a time travel machine. And I don't wanna to go too much into the plot, but if you've seen the trailer, it gives away most of it. Um, you know, he winds up discovering this thing, he builds it, it's a time machine. It starts off all fun. Of course, things unravel like any time machine movie. So let's get into the good and the bad really quick here. I like the beginning, I like the setup of the main character. I believe his name was David. He, you know, he's like a smart kid, obviously, if you're gonna put together something like a time machine. So they set that up nicely. His friends weren't too bad at the beginning of the movie. They're kind of stereotypical. One's, of course, a little less smarter than him. The other one's more like a nerd, the funny kid, basically. And then there's this cute girl that they wanna, you know, get their, her attention and then the main kid has like a little sister who's the one recording everything so the characters are kind of cookie cutter I would say but the main character I was kind of buying him and the acting wasn't too bad uh, the bits of humor that they had were funny the middle of the film was probably the worst part and then at the ending I kind of liked it again when the tension started ratcheting up a little bit I wish they would have had a stronger ending they kind of solved everything so I kind of liked that I mean the way they ended it was pretty clean so let's get into the bad things and there's kind of a lot of bad things that more like one bad thing. I just didn't like the overall too much teenager theme to it. That sounds horrible. I know that's bad English, but yeah, it was just too much teenager themes. I mean, you know, as soon as they invent the time machine, they go back, they talk about, they want to do some experiments and one of the things they brought up was bullying and I was like, oh God, this is, you know, trying to be so contemporary. And of course the other kid wants to be popular and the whole motive uh, is built around the scene at the music festival and that whole thing I just thought was so stupid because they set up the main character to be pretty smart kid. And then some of the decisions these kids make is just ridiculous. I mean, the one clear example is obviously, you know, they wind up using the time machine themselves. And at the beginning, they start with an inanimate object. And then the one girl's all, you guys know you can do this. Just do it. And they're like, okay. So they all, just like all five of them decide to jump in this thing and time travel. I'm like, that was a big leap of faith. I mean, you know, at least leave a couple people behind to tell the others what happened. If you don't come back, I was just like, that was kind of dumb, I thought. Because the characters, like I said, they set them up to be a little smarter than that. And then right there, I was just like, oh. And I mean, I could see getting obsessed with the power of the time machine, which is like, you know, kind of the thing in a lot of time machine movies. But yeah, not right away at the beginning doing something that stupid I thought was kind of dumb for a scientific mind to do. Um, and yeah, I mean, they reference a bunch of other time travel movies, which I thought was kind of funny also. But overall, at the end of the day, the middle of the film where they're at the music festival just kind of lost me. It went too long. And then I was just like, oh, this is just like a teeny bopper sort of film. I mean, they kind of stayed light on the science. I did like some of the effects, and one of the particular tricks they did, they show that on the trailer too, with the feedback loop. That was kind of a cool little addition thing, but the rest of it, I wouldn't pay full theater prices. I'd wait till it comes on, you know, Blu-ray or DVD and rent it online or something like that. So 2.5 out of 5. It was fun, but I'll probably never watch it again, and there's a lot better time travel movies out there. So... That's the bottom line, and I'll see you guys soon. If you've seen Project Almanac, let me know what you thought down below, and uh, 